Welcome back for another video, guys. SkirtX here. Um, before I start this video, go follow my TikTok at SkirtX Films. That's my main channel. But yeah, today, guys, we're gonna be watching Ammon and the Wasp Quantum Mania, start of Phase Five. Insane. It felt like yesterday we were just coming off Black Panther, and now we're jumping into Phase Five. Um, Kang is the villain. Insane. They're saying Jonathan Majors is the best part about this film, and Rotten Tomatoes is giving it a fifty-three. I'm going in there blank, nothing to know. Someone did spoil one of the post credit scenes was spoiled for me on my TikTok account. Someone literally commented, oh, the post credit scene, blah, 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 blah. So I go to click the notification, and of course, I see it. So I know one of the post credit scenes, not going to say what it is, though. But if it's true, this movie's going to be insane. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys my out-of-theater reaction with my friend. He's going to be filming it. He'll also be in the video. You guys are going to meet him in just like two seconds. Um... But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on here and just say this before the video starts and enjoy the vlog, I guess. We just got here at the AMC and we're about to watch Ammon and the Wasp Quantumania. And I'm going to give y'all my full review and non-spoiler out of theater reaction. I'm here with Josiah. What's up, y'all? Yes, sir. We're about to go watch it. Hopefully they got that bucket, bro. Cause I'm telling you, I'm trying to get that bucket, bro. Bro, no, because already know. Shit, I need that bucket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in the building, bro. What's oh, you up? Can't film here. I know. So the pool tab inside is that loads of toy. We're about to walk in and see Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, guys. I'm so excited right now. Besides behind the camera. Yes, sir, what's up? And we just picked up the bucket. <laughs> Look at this. And that shit looks on it. Yes, sir. Right, yes, sir, you already know the shirt, too. Get right with it. We just pulled up in the arcade and it is so small. There's nothing. Oh. Like, this is the <laughs> There's nothing in the arcade. Is in the theater, y'all, you already know how we feel about Sonic. So. We are going to stop that. So I just got back from the Ant-Man and the Walls Quantumania, and this is my out of theater reaction. Honestly, this movie could have been way better. You have Jonathan Majors as Kang, and you guys couldn't, you guys couldn't nail it. And honestly, I'm still sticking for the ride. I'm still here for the ride. I'm here for the phase five. I'm here for everything that Kevin Feige has for us. I have all the hope in the world for Phase 5 to come together and wrap up really good, start Phase 6, down into Secret Wars. But damn, this movie just... <clears throat> like, the Ant-Man family wasn't even, like, really portrayed in this movie. And, like, where is Luis? Like... Where is the where is the core elements of the other two Ant-Man films? They're not even in this movie. It's like we got into the quantum realm and boom. What is Kang? Where is Kang? What is the Kang? Where where did Kang come from? Like all about Kang, which I didn't mind, but damn, they lack on the relationship with Wasp and Ant-Man. Like, damn. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, more like Ant-Man. Just Ant-Man. And Quantumania. Where where was where was Hope? Yeah, I, I know Hope was helping uh, Hank and whoever the hell Michelle's playing. I forgot her name. Um, Janet. Like, what? Come on. Honestly, I give this movie like a seven out of ten. The only thing I wish they just had was Luis. Like, even at the end of the dinner table or just something. Like, bro, where was Luis? It's been five years. And he didn't even mention them once. This is one thing that it's a huge plot hole. I was sitting in the theater the whole time, like, bro, where is this man at? Like, it's been five years, and this man doesn't even want to acknowledge them, even talk about them, or like, what? What a plot hole. But yeah, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. 
I think it would be an 8 out of 10 only if they added Luis. Because that's the GOAT. And he could have narrated the end or something. But yeah, guys, that's my uh, reaction. Spoil full spoiler coming soon. Watch out. Um, I'm going to start doing some news videos probably on here and a bunch of other things. So just stay tuned. And yeah, subscribe, like, and follow. Look out for the TikTok and see y'all soon.